Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn, upload multiple file with progress bar, by using vanilla javascript, with php script. File upload is required feature, and it is required in most of this web application, so if we have display file upload progress, in progress bar, then it will increase your user interface. So for this, under this tutorial, we will display multiple file upload process, in progress by using javascript, with php. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is index page, and under this page, we have already included bootstrap 5 style sheet library link, and we have not include any javascript library for upload multiple file, because here we will use pure vanilla javascript. Under this file, first we have to create input file tag, so here we have write input type is equal to file, id is equal to select file, and here for select multiple file, here we have write multiple attribute. In this tutorial, we have used bootstrap 5 progress class, so here below, we have create division tag, with class is equal to progress, and id is equal to progress bar. Under this tag, we have write style attribute is equal to display property set to none, so when page load, this progress bar division tag not display on web page, it will be display when user has select files from file tag. Under this tag, we have create one more division tag with class is equal to progress bar, id is equal to progress bar process, role attribute is equal to progress bar. In this tag, we have write style attribute is equal to, with property set to 0%. This with property will change, based on file upload progress, and it will display upload progress process on web page. Now for display validation error or success message on web page. So here we have create one division tag with id is equal to uploaded image. Now we have moved to write javascript code part. So here we have create one function with underscore sign with element as argument. Under this function we have write return statement with document dot get element by id method and under this we have write element so this function will return any element property below this function we have write underscore function with file tag id select file dot on change event is equal to callback function with event argument so when user has select files then code will be execute under this, we have write form data variable is equal to new form data object. Here we will use form data object for send files data to server. After this, we have write define image number variable is equal to 1. This variable value will be change, and this variable value we will use for display validation error. And for store validation error, here we have create error variable is equal to blank value. Now we want to check selected files, and if it is proper, then store under this form data object. So for this here we have write, for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to, count variable value is less than the value of, file tag id select file, dot files dot length property and count variable value increment by one under this loop first we want to check selected file extension so here selected file must be an image format so for this here we have write if statement 
and under condition, we have write not operator, with image mime type in array format dot includes method, and under this, we have write file tag id select file dot files, with count index dot type. If selected file is not in proper image format, then it will execute if block of code, and under this, we have write error variable, and under this, we have append this HTML code, so here we have store error message under this error variable. But suppose selected file extension is proper, then it will execute if block of code, and under this, we have write form data variable dot append with two argument. In first argument, we have write images, and in second argument, we have write file tag id select file dot files with count index, so it will store file in form data object. Under this for loop, we have increment image number variable value by one. Now here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write, error variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block, and here we have write division tag id, with inner html is equal to error, so it will display validation error on web page. But suppose there is no any validation error occur, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write, division tag id progress bar, with style dot display is equal to block, so it will display progress bar, on web page. Now we want to send ajax request in pure javascript, so for this, we have write ajax request variable is equal to, new xml http request object this objects are used to interact with servers and it is heavily used in ajax programming below this we have write ajax request dot open method with two argument in first argument we have write post method name and in second argument we have write upload dot php url so here open method will ajax request to upload dot php file. Now we want to display live upload progress event on web page in progress bar. So here we have write ajax request dot upload dot add event listener method with two argument. In first argument we have write progress and second argument we have write callback function. This block of code will receive upload progress event data. This block of code will receive upload progress data in bytes, but we want to display upload progress in percentage, so we need to convert upload progress data in percentage. So here, we have write percent completed variable is equal to math.round function, and under this, we have write event loaded divided by event dot total into 100 here event dot total will return total uploaded file size and event dot loaded will return how many file size data already uploaded so based on this two data it will calculate the file upload progress in percentage now below this we have write progress bar id progress bar process dot style dot width is equal to percent completed variable so this code will change the width property of progress bar and it will change progress bar process same way we want to display uploaded percentage data on progress bar so here we have write progress bar id progress process dot in the html is equal to percent complete with completed text so it will display number of percentage on progress bar After this, when all file has been uploaded, then we want to display success message on web page. So for this, 
Here we have write Ajax request dot at event listener method with two argument. In first argument, we have write load, and in second argument, we have write callback function. Under this block of code, we have write division tag id uploaded image dot in the HTML is equal to this files uploaded successfully. So this message will be display on web page. After this, we want to reset file field value. So here we have write file tag id select file dot value is equal to blank. So it will reset value of tag. And lastly, we want to send post request to server. So here we have write ajax request dot send method. And under this, we have write form data variable. So it will send post request to server. So here our JavaScript code is ready. Now we have go to upload.php file. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function and under this we have write dollar files images. So if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for loop and under condition we have write dollar count variable value is equal to zero dollar count variable value is less than then value of count function and under this we have write dollar files images variable with name index and count variable value increment by one so this loop will check all selected file property and one by one it will upload in images folder under this first we want to get selected file extension so here we have write dollar extension variable is equal to path info function with two argument and in first argument we have write selected file name and in second argument we have write path info extension this code will return selected file extension after this we want to create new file name so here we have write dollar new name variable is equal to php unique id function and after this we have append value dot dollar extension variable so it will create dynamic unique new image name now for upload file here we have write move uploaded file function with two argument in first argument we have write temporary file location and in second argument, we have write destination file location. So on every loop, it will upload file one by one. Lastly, we want to send success message to Ajax request. So here we have write echo statement with success as message. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends. Here we can see that when page has been load in browser, then here on web page, we can see that on file is display on web page. Now first we want to check file extension validation. So here we first we have select mp4 video file. After the select file, here we can see validation error on web page. Now we want to check upload multiple file with progress bar. So for this here we have select multiple image file from local computer. So here on web page, we can see progress bar, and it has display upload progress on progress bar, with percentage. After successful multiple file upload, here we can see success message on web page. Now we want to check progress bar meter with upload large file. So for this, we have go to index.html file and here we have video mp4 file mime name has been added in allowed extension so now can upload video file also now first we have refreshed this web page and here we have click on file tag and here we can see that video file size 80 file megabyte now want to upload this large file so we have select it after selecting file here we can see upload file progress bar meter has been start and it has display live file upload progress on web page in progress bar. 
Once progress bar achieve 100 percentage, that means file successfully upload onto server, and it will display success message on web page. So under this video tutorial, we have learned how display multiple file upload process in progress bar by using JavaScript with Bootstrap 5 and PHP script. Additionally, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box. If you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. And lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorials.